This video covers completing the Bayo Sezu mission in the 0k campaign on brutal difficulty with all bonus objectives. Bayo Sezu. This world seems to have rebelled against their empire, while it was too busy fighting on other fronts. They built formidable defenses, most of them still intact as the empire cut them of instead of landing a punitive force. Somehow, it has been enough to cripple them, and most of their mobile ground forces have disappeared. Planet Bayo Sezu. Main objectives. Destroy the enemy gunship plant, protect your commander. Bonus objectives. Build 6 impalers, have 30 metal extractors by 9 o'clock, destroy all enemy desolator turrets. Ground forces are not, they are sending gunships out from behind a formidable defensive array, the blasted automata are taking me for an imperial landing force. I have crasher anti-air rovers to shoot down the gunships, then I can tear down their base with impaler artillery. Impalers fire long-range cruise missiles, which are very effective against turrets. They are practically useless against mobile targets, so make sure they are well escorted against land and air threats. Darts are equipped with a disruptor beam to harass and slow enemies. Their main use is as disposable scouts, discovering enemy locations and identifying radar dots. It would be sheer folly to directly attack the defensive positions your opponent has laid out here. Wear them down from long range instead. In this video, I'll guide you through my strategy for completing the Bayo Sezu mission in 0k on brutal difficulty while achieving all bonus objectives. The primary goal of this plan is to have 30 metal extractors and then build a wall while completing the remaining non-time sensitive objectives. At the start of the mission, I prioritize rushing the masons to build and achieve a total of 30 metal extractors before the 9 minute mark. Simultaneously, I have my commander start building the wall, and after completing the time-sensitive objective, the masons can assist in constructing the wall. I also produce scorchers and crashers in the rover assembly to fend off land and air units. However, by the time the wall is finished, scorchers won't be necessary. With the base secure, I proceed to build six impalers to complete another bonus objective. Then, I construct big berthas and or missile silos to take out the desolator turrets, of which there are three. Finally, I use Big Berthas to destroy the enemy's gunship plant.